finally it has arrived my stitch sole custom made riding boots um, initially they told me it was going to take around two to three weeks but this one took them six weeks uh, but uh, initial impression they actually look good so baka sulit naman yung waiting time uh, I'll make a review after I use them but uh, so far they do look good Oh, comes with an extra lace also. I'll try both. So here they are. Uh, let me show you the details. Uh, so this is really a nice pair of shoes. Uh, I really appreciate the hand stitching here. Uh, quality is, is really good. So this one has a nice lower ankle support but what's missing compared to my other shoe is that armor within the middle part of my ankles so i think i needed to request that if i wanted the soles are nice and grippy even uh, when it was new my first time using it i didn't have problem with traction uh, no slipping so this this shoes doesn't need to have the soles broken in so really nice the shoes is made of uh, what they call crazy horse leather uh, the nice thing about this this is actually full grain cowhide that has been smoothened and waxed uh, it's not from the horse they just call it crazy horse leather because uh, it's the same leather used for horse saddles since I wasn't really gifted with longer legs and I chose a bike that has a high seat height, what I did is I requested an additional height on my sole. So, if, so this is probably around 15-20 mm taller than your standard soles. They did that color combination in the sole to hide that additional height so it doesn't look like I'm on elevator shoes. Now. The concern now if your shoes is much thicker because of that added uh, increase in, in the sole is I have a hard time getting into under the shift. Uh, so I think I need to adjust my shift lever a little bit higher. But the position of the reinforce uh, or at least the, the shift guard is perfectly in place. The added sole height uh, was really a nice confidence booster when you're in traffic uh, you can I can now have uh, an easier time putting my feet down not worried if the road is uneven which was a concern for me before So let me show you the difference in uh, how I stand on the bike with different shoes. Here I'm using uh, a casual uh, chuka boots from Kohlhaan. So if you notice, I could barely stand on both tiptoes, on both feet on tiptoes. I have to go one, only one at a time. And if I put my feet up on one side, I still can't put my feet down completely now I'm changing to my uh, I think this is forma uh, riding boots uh, so once again now I can at least tiptoe on both feet if I wanted to but when I get one of my feet flat I the bike leans too much a little uh, it's not really a comfortable lean so what I end up doing is uh, on tiptoes which is really uh, punishing my calves on traffic now here's now the stitch sole so you will actually see the difference I can now at least put plant my both feet down uh, at least using the ball of my feet not really tiptoes 
and if I put my feet up one sided I can have pretty much almost flat footing one foot so this is really uh, very confident inspiring with the added soles so overall I am very satisfied with this pair of shoes for one it's the quality is really really good second the craftsmanship the design and of course its performance uh, as a riding boots uh, and add to that you are supporting a local brand which is for me uh, as someone who also has a local uh, business and sells a local branded uh, goods this is really appreciated this is an exceptionally good value shoes for custom made hand stitch high quality leather uh, boots I only paid 3,800 for the pair of course this is this wouldn't be a complete review if I didn't talk also about the issues that I had uh, the very first one like I mentioned it took them six weeks and when they initially messaged me they said we are busy it will take two to three weeks and the, the two to three weeks after the third week I followed up and I said it's next week next week until it became six weeks so I think they need to just uh, find a way to to get their production and scheduling correct now some issues when it comes to the shoes itself uh, for one the insole is very very thin uh, in fact it doesn't give you any support but uh, this was easily solved by just replacing the insoles with something like a memory foam or something with more cushioning uh, because of this uh, very thin insoles they are not really comfortable to wear uh, when you're walking around so that's one second is like I mentioned in the ankles it does need some kind of uh, padding and that's for me to keep my ankles planted on the shoes uh, this also adds why it's not really nice to walk around with because your heel keeps slipping out of the shoe because it needs something to lock your feet down but honestly those are really really minor things because as a motorcycle boots they are really uh, good so uh, I'll try to put in the description uh, the link where you can message them to order and uh, I hope you enjoyed my review of this uh, locally made shoes thank you and don't forget to like and subscribe